Hey everyone, BaseDS here, and welcome back to more Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Last time, we made our way through Robotnik's home base of Metropolis Zone, but now that that's behind us, we're here at the end game. And the next three zones are actually all one single at, so if you want to think about it, in general, they'll eventually make up one overarching zone. But for the first so-called act, we are here in Sky Chase Zone. And the Bandits here can be a bit of an issue to deal with. You have Valkyries, Turtloids, and Nebulas. But as long as you're careful, you won't have nothing to worry about. And as for Sky Chase Zone itself, I just absolutely loved this zone when I first got to it as a kid. I mean, it was just so soothing to have something easy to play through after the hell that you went through Metropolis Zone. And on top of that, it's the first appearance of Sonic's Plane the Tornado. So, overall, a nice little zone to play through. Of course, I do want to say if you're unlucky, I want to say if you do get hit, the tornado will catch you, but uh, I am not going to risk that. And here we get a little sneak peek of the next act as we chase Robotnik's aerial base. But yeah, overall, just a nice breather compared to the hell that you went through Metropolis Zone. And the first time I actually got here, I only had one life left, so when I died, needless to say, I was sad because I had gotten so far, and just to have it being ripped out of my hands like that, yeah, it was a bit depressing. But that was then, this is now. And if you time it right, it is entirely possible to go supersonic here, but, uh, yeah, wasn't gonna try and risk it, and it didn't really matter anyway. But with that out of the way, we are done with Sky Chase, and we are now here at Wing Fortress. And unfortunately, we have to bid tales adieu, because from here on out, it's a Sonic solo adventure. So the lasers from the Wing Fortress end up shooting the tornado down, so... That means Sonic has to go alone. And there's the only Bandic here in Wing Fortress being Clucker. They just pop out of those little turrets and fire off projectiles, but one hit and they're down. And I want to get up here because I do not want to go that long route. It's already bad enough I gotta deal with one bottomless pit later on in the zone. I don't want to have to risk dealing with an earlier one. But I'll go ahead and climb up here to the top of this wing and grab an extra life that's hiding up here. And let's continue on. And so, right here, like I said, Dr. Robotnik's name is and always will be Eggman. And so, I'm wondering what people thought when they saw that when they first played this zone. They're probably thinking, what the hell is an Eggman? And also, keep in mind, Wing Fortress Zone is your last chance to get any Chaos Emeralds if you're missing between 1 and 3. After that, uh, yeah, no more chances for you. It's straight on to the final boss after this. So we'll just come on over here and destroy the panels off of the ship. And I've got to be real careful here. Because I've got a bottomless pit right below me. And I absolutely hate these disappearing uh, platforms whenever they go inside of the ship. Oh, okay. I got so lucky there. I got real lucky. Okay. I was actually worried there for a second. I was really close to dying. I thought I was going to land on that platform as soon as it went right back into the ship. But now that we're at the very tip of the fortress, we'll just enter inside of it. And here we have the fortress laser. So normally to destroy it, you have to jump on these platforms and ride them to get high enough to hit the laser itself, while also avoiding being hit by the laser. But since I'm supersonic, uh, yeah, pretty much makes those platforms useless here. And of course, Robotnik's just chilling behind the barrier and grinning his ass off, but 
eight hits and the laser is down. So, before we continue on and give chase, we'll just grab this extra life here. And down we go. And Robotics trying to make his escape. But luckily, Tails manages to come back, and the tornado's got a rocket propelled engine on itself now, so. Luckily, it's powerful enough to give chase after Robotnik's ship. So yeah, here's something that Sonic's got over Mario. He made it into space first. Hedgehog 1, Plumber 0. And with that, we're now aboard the Death Egg, so it's time to finish this. But first, we got the second to last boss to deal with, and that being Silver Sonic. And so, keep in mind, same thing as Final Zone. You've got zero rings, so one wrong move, and yeah. But it's okay, though. We should be good. Okay, I thought I was going to die there for a second. Eight hits and Silver Sonic is down and out. So we'll just move on over to the right and give chase after Robotnik. And how he can move that fast, I have no damn clue. But here we are with the final boss, the Death Egg Robot. A very intimidating creation and you really want to take it easy on this. Unlike the other bosses, this thing takes 12 hits to defeat. So you need to time everything right. So for phase one, he'll come down and fire off his arms, after which he will go ahead and fly up. And then when he comes down again, he'll just briskly walk a bit. Of course, if by some chance you end up getting behind him, then he will have two waves of two small bombs that he'll drop out from the pack on its back. But luckily, they won't create any projectiles to harm you. At least that's good. And I completely lost count of how many hits I had on him so far. It's okay, though. I'm pretty confident here. Alright. Just go ahead and do that. Alright, wait until the spike's out of the way. And with that, he is down. The Death Egg robot is destroyed. And with that, the Death Egg begins to explode. And look at that! A no death, flawless, and emerald run. with Tails taking to the tornado and ascending the skies. Supersonic descends from space. And so with that, we're done with Sonic the Hedgehog 2. That's another game down off our list in this marathon, but hey, we've still got a good way to go before we get to the very end. But yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Overall, a great sequel that greatly improves on the original, and it just greatly adds even more to it, of course, with the spin dash, making Sonic's moveset even more versatile. And hey, it introduced us to Tails, who's been a series mainstay ever since Sonic 2, so there's also that. 
And of course, with Sonic 2, it also begins the... It is also the start of the Death Egg Saga, which will continue in the next two games that we'll go ahead and cover. Well, of course, really the other half we're not even going to get to after we clear a, another game that we'll get to later on down the road. That, of course, being Sonic CD, but that's for later. But yeah, overall, Sonic 2, I definitely played more of this game than I did the original when I was younger because it was just so much more easier and more accessible. I mean, granted, yeah, Sonic 1 did have its issues and difficulty in some areas because, like I said before, back in Sonic 1, I could only get up to the end of Spring Yard Zone before the boss would kill me no matter what I did. But it was the exact opposite for Sonic 2. I could actually get pretty far, at least up to Oil Ocean, before that's where the game would stop me. And since then, just kept on going at it, and eventually I was able to beat the game. And I actually, ironically, beat Sonic 2 for... Well, no, actually... Uh... Actually, no, I'm wrong there. I actually beat Sonic 1 first before I beat Sonic 2. And I actually didn't even beat Sonic 2 until, like, what, uh... Uh, I want to say 2002, 2003? I'm not exactly sure on that, but we'll actually get into that later on down the road when we have a little revisit to Sonic 2 later on in the marathon. But regardless, we got another game in the marathon down, but we still got plenty more to go, so... The Supersonic Summer Knuckles Marathon continues on, so... With that, Sonic 2 comes to an end, so until next time, thank you all for watching, I hope you're enjoying the marathon so far, and I'll see you all again when we continue on in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles.